We all love our Hubitat Elevation Hub, but sometimes you'll build a rule that just doesn't seem to run the way it should. Now, it's always fun to hit the panic button, but before we do that, let's look at five simple troubleshooting steps you can take to help diagnose the problem. The first step is to go into the rule that's misbehaving and turn on logging. For a rule machine rule, go into apps, click on your rule, and you'll find logging right here. Then turn on all of the logs. Other apps like Simple Lighting already have critical logging enabled by default, so you won't see this option. But it's a good idea to check your app to see if detailed logging can be enabled. With your logs turned on, step two is to check the logs. For this, we are going to open up a new browser window and put it next to the current one. Now we're going to go into our web UI in this new browser and open the logs. The logs start blank and will fill up as activity happens on your hub. But you can also see past logs by clicking right here. My hub is mainly used for testing and this video nonsense, so these logs look like a horror show. But let's take a look at what they can show us. If you only want to see logs related to a certain rule or device, you can click on it up here. Or you can use the search box right here. Now let's see what these logs mean. This tells you the log type, usually a device or an app. This is the device or app number. This shows us the time of the logged action. This right here is probably the most important thing to look for. This is your log code. It can be a variety of different codes, but look for the red error code and you'll know something has gone horribly wrong. Some log codes have links that will take you directly to the app or device detail page to help you out. And finally, this text here indicates the action that occurred or didn't occur. So again, look for an error code for the rule or device that's acting up and you might find the solution to your problem. That leads us to our third step, validate the rule's logic. The more complicated your rule, the easier it is to make logic mistakes. One way is to validate that the triggers, conditions, and actions listed in the log conform to the logic of the rule. Let's watch the logs that I trigger the motion sensor in this rule. You can see the disco lights go on as expected. But when motion stops, they don't go off. There are no errors listed, so there is probably a flaw in my logic. In this case, my trigger event is when motion sensor is active, so the motion sensor being inactive is not going to trigger the rule to do anything. To get this rule to work, I need to change my trigger. Now, if you go through this step and can't spot any logic flaws or errors, take a screenshot of your rule and post it in the support section of our online community at community.hubitat.com. The community is great. They're usually very nice, even to people who are new to home automation, so give it a shot. Step four is to turn on your device logging. In many cases, this will already be turned on. To do this, go to devices, then click the device you want to check. If you scroll down to preferences, you'll see what logging information is available. You'll want to turn all logging options on to see the most data possible. That said, if you aren't having any problems with the device, it behooves you to turn descriptive text logging off for all of those devices. If you keep descriptive text logging on, it will constantly be sending unnecessary details to your hub that will clog up your logs and make your life more difficult. Step five is to make sure the devices involved are working as expected. With your logs open, try triggering the device in the user interface. To do this, go to the devices section, click into the device you want to test, and then turn it on or off or what have you. Watch your logs on the right side as you do this. Is it activating in real life? Is the action showing up in the logs? Is the status of the device on the device page updating appropriately? Are there any errors? If you find one, the fastest solution is to search our online community for that exact error. There's a good chance another member of our community has already encountered that error and found a solution. If not, we can check to see if our Zigbee or Z-Wave network is working properly. To do this, Go to Settings, then click on Zigbee Details for a Zigbee device or Z-Wave Details for a Z-Wave device. Scroll down and you'll see which devices are connected to the network. If your device is not listed, it may be out of range or the battery may be dead or it simply isn't working. Try these five steps next time your rule isn't working and you may be able to diagnose your problem. If you don't find a solution, take notes as you go through these steps as they will be very helpful if you need to contact support. Thanks for watching, and thanks as always for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.